It feels like it was just yesterday where I was on here and I was raving about the Patriots signing Antonio Brown to a one-year contract, basically no risk, all reward, Antonio Brown coming to the Patriots, all the possibilities that Antonio Brown had with New England to potentially have a great season, to potentially win a Super Bowl, to potentially team up with the greatest quarterback ever in Tom Brady. And that team up, this marriage between Antonio Brown and the Patriots basically only lasted a week. Antonio Brown only played one game versus the Dolphins of all teams with the Patriots, and it seemed to be going pretty well for a few days, even up to about last night, or this morning really, with the Patriots. Antonio Brown was keeping his mouth shut, he was being a good soldier, he was practicing hard, he was playing well, the chemistry between him and Tom Brady seemed to be there. Everything was on the up and up, it seemed like everything was going well and according to plan. But we hear this news about him sending some text messages and potential threats and all this other stuff combined in the situation with the legal situation that he has on his hands. And now it seems that the Patriots have moved on. The Patriots have officially released Antonio Brown. He will not be playing for any NFL team likely this season. I think this is the nail in the coffin for Antonio Brown. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Do you think this is the nail in the coffin for Antonio Brown in terms of his NFL career? At least for now, at least for a season. We'll see how the legal situation plays out and let's see if Antonio Brown can bounce back from this and come back from this. But it looks to be that this is the last situation that Antonio Brown and the last team that Antonio Brown will find himself on in his NFL career. And this puts Antonio Brown's future as a human being in major question. And to me, when I immediately saw this news, it was a little bit surprising. I was a little bit shocked because just this morning we saw Bill Belichick take the mic and basically during his press conference say, I'm not going to answer any questions about Antonio Brown and everything seemed to be fine. They were just going to play it out. They were going to go through the due process of Antonio Brown in a whole legal situation. And that's definitely what I thought was going to happen. But then I see this news of a release. And what this says to me, even though I don't have any information on hand, is that one, Antonio Brown's legal situation is worse than I believed it was. And probably he might be guilty and the Patriots know something that I don't know and that we don't know. Or number two, Antonio Brown is likely to be suspended by the NFL and he wouldn't be able to play anyway, so might as well release him and regain the money that you have in the clause of the contract that says if basically Antonio Brown steps out of line, the Patriots can regain some of that money back. So, when looking at this situation, I said it when the Patriots signed him, it was basically a zero risk proposition. Antonio Brown comes in, if he plays well and acts as a good soldier, then he could stay on the Patriots, win a lot of games, put up yards, put up touchdowns, and help the Patriots win potentially another Super Bowl. On the other hand, if Antonio Brown does not perform or does not perform in character of what the Patriots would like and provides to be a, a basically a distraction to the team, he can be released and it pretty much does not hurt the team in any way, shape, or form. So we got the second option, which many people saw coming, many people predicted. Uh, on my side of things, I thought that the Patriots would be able to keep this in line. I thought the Patriots would be able to perform with Antonio Brown. And I thought Antonio Brown would kind of conform to the system because many players have and many players have been able to perform well with the Patriots and with the Patriot way. And it seemed like everything according to the Patriot way and Antonio Brown was going well on that front of things. We didn't hear anything from Antonio Brown from a teammate perspective that was going wrong. Everybody seemed to like him. Everybody seemed to be okay with him on the team, but it just seemed like this whole bundle of news, the media pressure on the Patriots was a big thing, I think. And ultimately it just provided to be maybe too much for the Patriots. And Often the Patriots are correct in these situations when they release a player, something happens, and then basically news comes out following that this guy is in legal trouble. This reminds me a little bit of the Aaron Hernandez situation where we didn't really know what was going on with Aaron Hernandez and the Patriots released him without the public knowing the information and then it came out not long after that the legal situation was very severe. So... Those are the two things that I'm thinking, suspension or legal trouble. Now, how does this impact the Patriots 
from a football perspective. That's why I make videos. You know, I don't make videos to talk about legal situations. I don't make videos to talk about, you know, players in trouble. I talk about football because I love football and I know that you subscribe to the channel because you love football as well. So that is the best analysis I can give you from a personal legal situation. I am not a lawyer and I certainly am not in this to be a news reporter. So that being said, I am going to go over some analysis of the Patriots team. Basically, what are the Patriots? Well, they are the Patriots before they had Antonio Brown. And that means that the top options receiving wise are going to be Julian Edelman and going to be Josh Gordon at receiver. Josh Gordon is going to have a bigger role than he did versus Miami in terms of seeing more targets and being the number one X option in the offense. Julian Edelman is going to continue to soak up the most receptions on this team as their primary slot receiver, and those two guys are going to dominate the reps in two receiver sets. Now, when it comes to three receiver sets, we're going to see a lot more Philip Dorsett. Philip Dorsett played very well versus the Steelers and is a very consistent, very reliable option for the Patriots. I do not think that Antonio Brown leaving this team, getting cut, especially after only one game, hurts the Patriots in the win column. We will have no idea potentially what the Patriots could have been with Antonio Brown for a full season, but to me, this does not hurt the Patriots' chances of winning a Super Bowl in any way, shape, or form. They did it last season without Antonio Brown. They did it without Josh Gordon, and now they at least have Josh Gordon here, and I believe that they could do it again because their defense is much better, and just as a team, they seem to be better. So then when we're looking at the rushing attack, it's strong still. Sony Michelle should see the same amount of carries. I mean, Rex Burkhead's going to be involved potentially more as a receiver. I think this ups James White's role just from a consistency standpoint. So if you're someone in fantasy that was a little bit worried about James White when Antonio Brown got here, I think James White resumes his role as a very reliable option in the passing attack. And I definitely think if you're looking for fantasy right now, you should be picking up Philip Dorsett. You should be trying to trade potentially for a Josh Gordon because I think Josh Gordon goes from being a guy that was maybe at a 700 yard, six touchdown pace with Antonio Brown to an 1,000 yard yard potentially 10 touchdown pace without Antonio Brown and I think the Patriots are completely fine I think they have arguably the best defense in the league they have one of the top five quarterbacks in the game with Tom Brady they have the best coach in the game they have a strong rushing attack the question remains with the IR and with the offensive line situation. One area that Antonio Brown could potentially hurt the Patriots is due to his incredible skill set and incredible ability to get off the line of scrimmage. This will allow teams to do some different things in terms of getting after Tom Brady, using pressures, and really with the injury situation on the offensive line, I think that does hurt the Patriots a little bit. But again, it won't hurt them from a win or a loss situation. It's just the potential of what Antonio Brown did bring to this offense would have been special. But that being said, again, the offensive line is the, the biggest question about this team, and that doesn't really change. How healthy are they going to be come playoff time? Because that's all that really matters. The other thing you have to look at is potentially the development of a Jacoby Myers or the comeback of a kid like Nikhil Harry, who was their first round pick, is currently on designated to return IR, and he could potentially come back mid-season and help this receiving core up even more. Benjamin Watson is coming back next week, which that should also help the offense. And then looking at uh, somebody like David Andrews, who may be out the entire season, but I also believe he's on designated to return IR, so he could come back if needed as well, and if he's capable to come back. So those are some interesting elements to this. Regarding the team, I think they're perfectly fine on the field. Off the field, I'm worried about Antonio Brown from a personal level. I hope that everything works out for him. Um, I can't really say it because I've cheered for him for many seasons. He's become an absolute issue for football teams. He's become a huge distraction to the NFL. He's put a stain on the NFL, a little bit on the Patriots. And as a Patriots fan, I'm sort of relieved that Antonio Brown's not on the team because there's been a lot of, even more so than a typical Patriots fan gets, there's been real bad talk about the Patriots from a media perspective, from we hate this team because they're doing something immoral by having him on the team. So at least I don't have to deal with that anymore. And, you know, 
it would have been fun to see him play if everything went well, but it's just not going to happen, guys. So that's my thoughts and analysis on Antonio Brown being released by the Patriots. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this situation. What do you think is happening with Antonio Brown? What do you think caused the release of Antonio Brown? Let me know in the comments section below. It's Mitch of the Bottom Line View. Thanks for watching and peace out.